Putin is preparing to strike in unexpected places, Ukrainian armed forces colonel. Russia may be preparing an offensive in May to June in an unexpected place. However, the Ukrainian response could be quite powerful given the amount of military assistance Ukraine has received. How exactly Western military assistance will be useful to the armed forces of Ukraine was analyzed in a commentary for Channel 24 by a military expert, reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, Petro Chernik. Chernik noted that the front line is now more than 1,000 kilometers. This means that the enemy can strike powerfully at any point. They can covertly change their strategic goals, but to do this just as covertly, he must accumulate forces and resources in precisely that direction. In my opinion, they will not be able to do this in an extremely covert manner. Modern means of optical and especially radio reconnaissance makes it possible to identify the most hidden maneuvers of the enemy. At the same time, no one has cancelled the information and psychological operations. This may be our specific response towards the enemy that we understand what he is preparing for, the military expert noted. According to him, British boats will be very useful for Ukraine. The defense intelligence of Ukraine has already carried out operations on the Crimean Peninsula. The operation on the Boyko Towers stands out here. In addition, maneuverable fast boats will be useful in forming a bridgehead on the left bank of the Kherson region. For example, Soviet transporters, which can carry up to 70 paratroopers, cargo and armored personnel carriers, move very slowly. This is an extremely convenient target for Russian artillery. Boats of this type are very maneuverable and fast. We have to somehow get to the bridgehead on the left bank of the Dnipro, bring ammunition and everything necessary there, Chernik emphasized. U.S. military is using the Ukraine conflict to test a new artificial intelligence technology. The U.S. military is reportedly using the Ukraine conflict to test a new artificial intelligence technology that helps detect targets on the battlefield using drone footage, the New York Times reported. Dubbed Project Marvin, research into the technology was initially picked up as a government contract by Google six years ago, according to the outlet. However, after pushback from engineers and employees who do not want to take part in building an AI tool for military use, the tech giant stepped away from the project which was picked up by other contractors. Now the technology is being used on the front line in Ukraine, the New York Times claims, as Western and Ukrainian officers, along with some of Silicon Valley's top military contractors, are exploring new ways of finding and exploiting Russian vulnerabilities. So far, the results of the testing have reportedly been mixed. While Project Marvin allows commanders to identify the movements of Russian forces and use AI algorithms to predict their next steps, it has apparently been difficult to bring 21st century data into 19th century trenches. One of the main barriers, the New York Times said, is that due to restrictions imposed by US President Joe Biden, the US military can only provide Ukrainians with a picture of the battlefield without giving precise targeting details. It is also unclear if the new technology would even be able to change the course of the conflict given Russia's ability to quickly adapt to technologies being used by the Ukrainian side. When new technology meets the brutality of old-fashioned trench warfare, the results are rarely what Pentagon planners expected, the outlet said. Nevertheless, the Ukraine conflict remains a bonanza for the US military in the minds of American officials and a testing ground for rapidly evolving technologies. At the end of the day, this became our laboratory. Lieutenant General Christopher T. Donahue, who commands the US Army's 18th Airborne Division, told the New York Times. Russia, meanwhile, has repeatedly decried increasing US involvement in the conflict. Moscow describes it as a proxy war being waged by Washington and its partners. Ukrainian fighters discovered the command post and radar station of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile complex belonging to the invading Russian army through a drone. Later, the radar station and the anti-aircraft complex were completely destroyed by continuous fire from the HIMARS rocket launcher system. Ukrainian forces have found success with the HIMARS on the battlefield since they arrived in the early summer of 2022, using its GPS-guided rockets to target Russian sites like ammunition depots, command posts, and bridges. The weapons were also critical in helping Ukraine recapture territory around the southern Kherson region. The UK-based Royal United Services Institute wrote in an assessment last year that the HIMARS and US-made M2 
multiple launch rocket systems signaled the moment where Russia's offensive in eastern Ukraine ended and the war transitioned into a new phase. Ukrainian forces need more than just US-made HIMARS rockets to blunt the increasing rate of Russian artillery fire, according to three war experts.